everybody welcome back to pro tools music production course here at educator.com this lesson is going to be about a beat detective in this lesson we will learn one of the pro tools nicest features called beat detective beat detectives will help you improve the timing of your live performances in your sessions highly if you have anything like a drums or even a performance audio track like a guitar line or a solo or even a company on a on a different kind of instrument uh, even the vocal lines you can actually use beat detective to uh, make certain uh, manipulation on the uh, and serious audio editing and quantizing in a way so there is actually three ways to change timing in Pro Tools of course this is something we've been doing over the years with MIDI it is kind of easy to uh, manipulate uh, the MIDI in this way just like uh, quantizing input quantizing we have all bunch of options but uh, since we had those options we didn't have too many for the audio most of the time maybe like 10 years before the best idea would be re-recording the audio again instead of like manipulate doing any kind of manipulation on the audio so today things are a little bit different although this is a personal choice you know it's up to you to use these tools or just like going kind of an old school idea of like re-recording the performance i'm kind of like that i really would like to get the right performance recorded however we have to really like take advantage and take a look at these tools a little bit and always like be aware of how we can do certain things and if there are ways to uh, apply those certain things in several different ways so when we talk about that in pro tools there are three ways to change timing those are first of all would be like a manually we were kind of doing that we learn about audio editing earlier in 101 course right we have cutting options slicing options moving the audio around and eventually applying fades and cross fades and those kind of things is the manual way and as you remember we use the tap to transit up here to find beginning and ending of the peak point of the audio to be able to cut slice them and move things around in the right way uh, second way to do this uh, nowadays in Pro Tools is with Beat Detective. A beat Detective actually exists on Pro Tools uh, like last few editions and it's been highly used and this is our focus today and this is the second way uh, and we've got one more way to actually manipulating the audio changing the timing and even more to do that and which is our upcoming lesson after this one is elastic audio so on this lesson we're going to focus on the beat detective what is beat detective it's an alternative way of conforming confirming audio to the tempo of a pro tool session unlike elastic audio beat detective does not use time compression expansion tool or trimmer as we call tce what i'm talking about it's one of the choices if you right click on the trimmer we have the standard and then we have the tce trimmer right there tce trimmer basically is the time compression expansion we will be using uh, with and without the uh, elastic audio function turned on and that's another way to manipulating stretching and shrinking the audio we're going to be taking a look at that too however as we said the uh, beat detective does not really use this uh, tce trimmer as we edit our uh, files here our waveforms sometimes we may have been introduced we may be introduced some glitches and some clips some uh, kind of like a, a edit points of glitches where the clips have been separated but uh, there's a function that we're about to see called edit smoothing capability will smooth out those separations with some sort of crossfades so let's go ahead and I have a simple track here basically one drum loop about four bars and I also uh, wrote a drum track here by Abbey Road that's a pretty cool uh, drum program Abbey Road 70s drum I just wrote this uh, penciled in on the MIDI like a very simple groove to match up with this loop however I wasn't using input quantization this was part of the purpose I kind of like was wanting in a way to 
do something off and it came out very good so writing this drum pattern on my existing loop on 135 bpm you'll see how they are not syncing at all there we go let's check it out definitely not a good way to start out a session it's like you cannot lay any other parts on any other instruments on so we need to definitely get in there and see what's going on and how we can fix this since we talk about uh, two ways manual and beat detective mainly and this is about the beat detective and getting a little bit familiarity of the uh, beat detective we're not going to really worry about the any elastic audio uh, features we're going to be uh, covering those in the next one so what we're going to do though first i'm going to take a look at this file even if you use the beats detective or not you need to be taking a good look of the audio anyway so first of all if you see uh, that came from this MIDI file so apparently my notes are almost equally looks like equally late so if I see something like that I need to just take care of it in the beginning because even beat detective it's not going to do a great job otherwise so let's listen to it and see all my hits as supposed to be here you look at my grid marks I have my grid set to quarter notes and seems like they're equally a little bit larger than this hand so they're equally late that's why everything's flaming 